How's it going everybody? Welcome back to episode 12 of my Rise of the Tomb Raider Let's Play, picking up right where we left off as usual. So I noticed from scrubbing over the recording of the last episode that there were a few audio hiccups. Now I couldn't really figure out how to get rid of those and I do apologize for that so you might have to put up with them for now. Um, in between recording sessions I'll really go in deep and figure out how to smooth everything out in this game. Well, in general, because I'm sure future games will, uh... I'm sure future games I'll be recording this way as well. So... Yeah, so again, I do apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, I just don't know how to fix it. For the moment. Oh, it's just mushrooms. Of course it is. Alright. We're just going to continue on with the story of this episode since it didn't seem like the game audio was hiccuping, just my uh, mic audio. I have it kind of recording in an odd way right now. So maybe I'll try recording in a different way in the future. Yeah. I don't know. Weird. I don't know if that came over on. I don't know if that came over on your end. The game audio just kind of flickered a bit. As I said I, I'm figuring out all this stuff live because why the fuck not? I already went over the software for like two hours, three hours on my own. And since I wasn't able to figure out all its quirks there, just figure them out on the run. Or on the go. Sorry, I'm rambling a bit. It's just one of those days for me. Hello. This writing seems to be pointing to something nearby. Since that's the closest one up there, all right. this up best pay you can find but they will not tolerate mistakes they get the radio tower repaired not yet I don't think any of the techs thought they'd be repairing a 50 year old comm link well they better figure it out you saw the bodies hanging in the mines wearing Soviet uniforms yeah I heard huh Come on, you guys. Hey, at least it's not miserable outside today. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> Alright, got one. Hold up. Gonna check it. Stay alert. Come on. There we go.
More Soviet propaganda. Not even gonna tell me what it says, huh? This is where I used the coins. Look, I actually forgot right about here. them. I've been working as a maintenance tech for Trinity out here, but I've got to get out of here. These people are insane. I've been stockpiling gear. It's yours, if you can pay for it. They won't notice a few missing items, but if they catch wind, or if they see me with you, I'm a dead man. I'll need some untraceable currency in case things go south. Gold, preferably. You think we can make a deal? Yeah, I'll see sure. what I can dig up. Pistol suppressor. I uh, had to hold. Don't mind that. And the rope ascender. Had my eye on that one for a while. Nice. So 175 for the crafting tool. Definitely will want that at some point. Let's go put this uh, suppressor on the pistol real quick. So, probably under weapons. Oh, I also have enough to do that. Okay, I forget how to, uh, I'm going to go into the options real quick, because I actually wasn't paying attention to, uh, the game telling me how to, brain, the game telling me how to switch. Uh. Oh, key bindings. There it is. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh well, doesn't really matter. I wouldn't be taking it off anyways. An old Soviet work camp. Trinity's taken it over completely. Hello. Kind of feel gypped there. Only one piece of wood. Alright, well, I guess we'll just continue on. Oh, uh, hello. It's not nukes. Creepy looking guy with a scarred face named Constantine gave us a big speech, talked about 
destiny in something called the Source. And frankly, I'm even more baffled. The other contractors seem to be just as antsy and nervous as I am. But the company men? The guys who've been with Trinity for a long time? They're drinking it up and asking for seconds. It's fucking Jonestown out here. We're preparing for an assault. Against who, you might ask? I mean, there's people here, like natives, lost in time. We're talking furs, skins, and iron arrowheads. We're about to go meet them with attack choppers and 50 cal machine guns. I'm on the wrong goddamn side of history. Yes, yes you are. <laughs> Our communications were offline, but everything is now under control. If the situation becomes untenable, we will step in. It won't. You sent me for a reason. I was chosen for this. I will succeed. See that you do. Hey! <gasps> Come off to you. This is all my fault. Who? Who are they? What do they want? The same thing my father was after. Oh no, Laura. I told you not to do this. Whatever they want, just give it to them. <laughs> it's not that simple. Just hold on. I'll get us out of here. Somehow. doesn't know. Let it go, could you? I knew you'd find your way to this place. What did you expect? It doesn't have to be this way. We seek the same thing. We could use someone like you. You want a purpose in your life? We can provide that. You've got to be kidding. I've seen how Trinity operates. Is that a no? It's a no fucking way! Tell me, Anna, were you recruited by Trinity before or after you started screwing my father? I loved Richard. But he was blinded by idealism, and it destroyed him. 
What would you do with the artifact? Show it to the world. Redeem your father's good name. You're still so naive. Just a frightened little girl trying to walk in her daddy's shoes. We're done here. No. Not yet. You and I, we can still be on the same side of history. Think about it, Laura. Over. Bastard! Perhaps that's all he knows how to be. I thought I was alone. So did I, but here we are. So what should I call my new acquaintance? Nothing. I won't be staying. Constantine has little patience. Nor do I. So I see. Nice trick. Can you get us out of here? There's no us. I don't even know who you are or why you're here. Sorry. I'm not feeling particularly trusting right now. You won't get far without me. <laughs> you don't know how far I've come. What do you know about them? A sect. Ancient and secretive. They believe themselves to be doing the work of God. From what I've seen, they're pretty far from holy. plan to do with that. I'll let you know when I think of it. Yeah. Well, they've heard that. All the more reason to get out of here. Is there a way out? No, but I found something that might be useful. Well, that was definitely an eventful cutscene. If you feel horrible for Lara for uh, basically your stepmother being evil. I don't know if it's stepmother, but. But yeah, so I'm going to be a bit quiet still because there's a lot of talking upcoming and I don't want to interrupt it. Careful. We don't want to attract attention. <sighs> it worked. Can you get out? Don't know where that arrow came from. Wait. Let me out. I can help you. I can't trust you. We may not be enemies. I can see that. I suspect you do too. I work better alone. I know the layout. I know the land. 
I'm a Foslan. I have no doubt of that. Maybe I can offer you something more valuable. I know what you're all after. Thank you. I'm Jacob. Lara. Take this. In case we get separated. We have to move. The guards will be coming through on rounds any moment. Do you know the way out? Yes. I've... We began invasion of the valley not 24 hours ago. I expected resistance and have not been disappointed. The people of the valley think they defeat us. But the harder they fight, the stronger my resolve grows. If they weren't protecting something, they wouldn't martyr themselves so. They wouldn't endure tortures with such resolve. They are believers. I respect that. But they are on the wrong side of this battle. It will not be long now. A new, better world is at hand. All right, well, with all of this out of the way, it is unfortunately about that time. So thank you everybody for watching, and I will hope to see you in the next episode. All right, bye.